Alicia. Thanks very much for agreeing to be part of the Piscari Insights video series. It's great to see you again. Hi, Mike. Great to be here. So where, where we started life, um, I was out for dinner with a, a guy I used to work with at Microsoft, and he told me this story about how his sales rep had um, put down a stack of brochures at the end of a meeting with the, uh, a CIO at, at a large global bank. And that's pretty depressing for a, a marketing person. It's pretty depressing for a salesperson um, going almost back to the old Argos catalogue days. Um, and, and that really, for me, was the penny, penny drop moment. I know you say ABM has been around for 20 years, but I, I think it's really only um, reached, the, the I, I guess, the, the mass market in the last four or five years. It's really gaining um, speed because I think so much marketing is produced in a dark room and it's it's not about the customer, it's about what, what the company is looking to market and sell. And so much of, of sales has been about relationships, it's been about um, having a black book where, when actually the, the rest of the market, yeah. there's, there's commoditization, there's, there's a lot of competition coming about. So, um, you know, a ABM has been on quite the journey um, uh, over the, the, the past few years, the past few decades. It's, it's gone from sales and marketing people not really that interested in focusing on a set of accounts to now really doubling down. You know, anyone targeting the enterprise has an account-based strategy.